From the station that made country music famous, 650 AM WSM, this is a Coffee Country and Cody podcast. Hey, it's Charlie Matos, and in this episode, an innocent conversation about a new commercial for Fritos led to quite a debate about chili, with or without beans. Enjoy. Coffee, Country, and Cody on WSM. Closing in on 9 o'clock, 846, Gary LaVox. Uh, apparently, Gary LaVox and Kelly Sutton can no longer be unchaperoned at the Grand Ole Opera. We were giggling a Just, lot. Uh, stuff I heard from the weekend right. past and behavior that it took place backstage at the Grand Ole I mean, when you look, make the Gatlin brothers look bad. You know what I'm saying? Well. Uh, new single, <laughs> work. Working on Sunday. <laughs> yes, Charlie, you see. Uh, no, I'm just saying that's certainly setting the bar low. Uh, <laughs> or high, depending on how one views such well, they did. Which Gatlin are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> there are varying degrees of Gatlin. There, yes, there, there are. There are. <laughs> There's yeah. a reason Steve carries the bail money, I think. <laughs> so. Kelly Sutton teased this earlier, so I went mm-hmm. online. Mm-hmm. You got lightly salted. Yep. You've got original. Right. You've got scoops. Mm-hmm. You've got flaming hot. Mm-hmm. Spicy jalapeno. Mm-hmm. Classic ranch. Flavor twists. Honey barbecue. And this is my favorite. Chili cheese. Oh. But you tell me in the advertising world. Right. They're making a little history here. This is really cool. And I read this and then I went back and I reread it. I thought, is this true? So there's a brand new ad, brand new TV ad for Fritos. They've not done a TV ad in 20 years. Isn't that crazy? It doesn't seem real. No. I guess maybe Frito Lay has, and maybe they've included it, but a distinct Fritos ad has not had a television ad in over 20 years. So the first time that they put it out, and who did they tap to be in it? Thomas Fred. Maybe because he's got four girls at home that all like to eat Fritos. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I'm not really sure. But he is in this brand new Fritos ad, and it's he and a buddy. It shows them they're hanging out on the bus, and they're playing a game of like this or that. What do you like more? Do you like back roads? Do you like highways? Do you like beach or you like mountains? And they start getting into it. And then it comes to the topic of Fritos. Yeah, here's what happens. Chips. Fritos, man. Back roads or highways? Back roads. College or pro ball? College. Mild or spicy? Ooh, spicy. Actions or rom-coms? <laughs> rom-coms. Really? Camper or tent? Tent. Lab or poodle? <laughs> okay, which Fritos? That is a tough one. And they all just they grab all of them. They just grab all of them. Which Fritos? They don't know. They just grab them all. I've not had the honey barbecue. I, I love haven't it. either, but it sounds good, doesn't but it? But I'm telling you, is there any... I mean, you could take a bag of the original, mm-hmm. open it up in this room right now. You wouldn't even have to take one out of the bag. And in a matter of a couple of minutes, this entire room... Which oh, it's like, a very distinct. Yeah, it takes yeah. you back to my childhood. Oh, Absolutely. Just, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. And, you, you know, kind of like Lay's. Yeah. <laughs> you can't eat just one. So did you ever do like the chili in the bag? I was about that? to ask well, they, you they, they were doing that in yes. the commercial. Yes. Yeah. They call it a walking taco, right? right. So yes. you take a bag of the yeah. Fritos and then you put the chili in the actual little yes. mini size bag and then you just eat it as you walk. Mm-hmm. I haven't done that. Yeah, but me I neither. feel like mm-hmm. I want to now. Oh, the power! Maybe one morning. Maybe one morning. Yeah. Oh, do we yeah. want chili for yeah. breakfast? Oh, come on! Why not? Sure. Well, hey, it's just Texas Independence it's Day today. It truly is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then, if yeah. we're on the topic, friends <laughs> yeah. that are watching or listening from Texas, please settle this debate. Chili, does it have beans or does it not? I can answer that. Speaking on behalf of all Texans. No. Oh, I like no the beans. Be- I like the beans no. in the chili. I Is like it- a lot of beans in the chili. To I be like honest. a lot of things then in chili. It's soup. No, Ooh. it's not soup. <laughs> With such authority, uh, he go, just I, listen, slammed wait, I lived, it down. I'm going to Google this. I lived it for years. Mm-hmm. I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard that, that true Texas chili is meat <sighs> and tomatoes and spices, yep. and that's it. Yeah. There's no beans. There's no anything else. Rival cooks are as passionate about beans as rival makers of clam chowder are about tomatoes. If you know beans oh. about chili, you know that chili has no beans. Oh. <laughs> you don't know beans about chili, Charlie Matos. Well, oh. I mean. Right. Then I guess I like soup. I like soup, too. <laughs> well, and I'll throw this out. Oh, this is probably going to get me a lot of hate. I put spaghetti in my chili. Oh, yeah, like Skyline up yeah. in Cincinnati. Yeah, well, yeah, that's famous. I yeah. grew up in southern Indiana. That's fam- it's also a really good, uh, again, this may be wrong, but it's good on a baked potato, too. I love oh. slicing open a baked potato and just lathering the chili right on top of it. So I, I've always 
put spaghetti in my chili. Mm-hmm. My dad always did. Mm-hmm. And it's not so Skyline is different in the fact that you get spaghetti. Right, and, and they, they put, they the, put chili the chili on top. On the top. Yeah, you incorporate the spaghetti in the I chili. boil noodles right. and put them in yes. my chili. Yes. So not only does it have beans, yes. but it also has noodles okay, in it. So, so I, what's that called? So I like soup. You're making stroganoff. Bill has chili. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And that's why the two of you can't go to Trilingua to the world championship to the chili cook-off. Oh, Could you imagine? Okay. I, and she's I a judge, even, though. I she's am. like something, barbecue, something certified. Barbecue. Barbecue. Oh. Barbecue. Different. It's All a different right. world. You're going to make that chili There's not too? a waiver? You're There's gonna... not a waiver? Or they... <laughs> a fast pass, fast pass in. Look. Hey, I'm just going to be real with you. I okay. don't think that I've got the stomach to judge a chili competition. Oh, that would really take... Oh, no. listen. Yeah. And what would you possibly do to like cleanse your palate in between so you're not tasting one pass right out? after the other? Yeah, I mean, it's almost impossible, <laughs> right? You, Seriously, yeah. Saltine I mean, crackers. Milk? That does it? Yeah, oh. saltine crackers and water. And yeah. it, it is it, the, you know, radio and television remotes going out on the weekend right. doing remotes. Yeah. Judging chili cook-offs, being a part of that, oh. is a part of right. the media culture right. in Texas. Sure. That's okay. just what you do. Okay. In, in, and it's in the summer, often. Uh-huh. Summer is summer turns to fall that you're out there doing this. Okay. We should have a chili cook-off here. We had one on the Opry Plaza one time, and I want to say Frank Friedman and I were both, the Friedman's Army Navy, were both celebrity <laughs> judges. <laughs> I, I'm serious. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Um, Frank cooked it here. in a canteen over an open fire <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> uh, the Study Butte Terlingua area, varying levels of facilities, several motels are in the area. Uh, supply of rooms limited if you want to oh, go wow. to the Terlingua International Chili Cook-Off right. that started in 1967. Right. Does it oh. list some of the fine accommodations in Terlingua? It's like, a what ghost have we got town, there? Charlie. Oh, okay. If that yeah, tells right. you anything. All right, that answers that. <laughs> be like a, it's, an know, episode Briscoe, of 1883 uh, right there. Yeah, Briscoe Hillside Darlin. with big strong boulders? Yes, Briscoe okay. Darlin. Hillside right. with big right. strong boulders. Do you put a little sugar in yours? I like a little sweetness in mine. Um, I used to put a like teaspoon of um, cocoa powder. Oh, okay. which adds a little sweetness yes, or yes. sometimes cinnamon, but okay. just a tiny, tiny bit. OK, just a little tiny bit. Okay. Look at the, you look so disgusted I know. right You're now. like, I'm not Bill eating any of this. Looks like he wants to come across the table <laughs> like, and just yes, what, tell me what I am absolutely was crazy. It was, that obvious? It was yeah. real was obvious. It? <laughs> You're just like he's, me. He's, you wear your expression on your face. You can't help it. You think you can hide it, but you can't. And I'm the same. I'm exa- Paul tells me. Watch your face. <laughs> All the time, watch your face. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And he goes, your face gives you away every time. You think that you're hiding it, but no, you're not. He's the chili Nazi. He are the version from Seinfeld. The oh, soup Nazi. No chili for you. No here. chili for Again, you. Back to Briscoe Dullin. Your words say no, but, but your, your eyes, eyes say yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no beans and chili unless you're eating mine, and then you're going to get spaghetti in there. <laughs> and, and pass Charlie the beans, okay? Gary Lovox. We're going to find out what he's up to. He's got a new single. We do know that. We're going to feature it. Working on Sunday. 17 number one singles with Rascal Flats. They sold nearly 30 million records. Coming up. Thanks for listening to our Coffee Country and Cody podcast. Our program director at WSM Radio is J. Patrick Tittle. Our digital producer is Haley Hall. Marketing and promotions director is Amanda Cannon. And I'm Charlie Mattos. If you like what you've heard, make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And leave us a review on iTunes. It really does help new people find the show.